How does a pipetting robot work in the lab? Katrin and Thomas tested the liquid handling station from Brandt. Let's see how they use it to set up a PCR. The liquid handling station has seven positions you can freely use for your labware. Simply click on the position and choose your labware from the database. Then select the liquid type. It's as easy as formatting cells in a spreadsheet. The pipetting commands almost look like your normal pipetting routine you do with your manual pipette. First, you go to the source in green here, then you move to the destination in orange. Now you just tell the robot to perform the pipetting task. The actual volume is set at the end. And that's done in a few minutes. One transfer command covers all tasks like pipetting, multi-dispensing, cherry picking, etc. The liquid handling station is as easy to use as a manual pipette. There are single channel and multi channel liquid ends available. You can change the liquid ends without any tools. Simply press the button, take out the liquid end, put in a new one, and continue pipetting. While the robot executes your pipetting routine, you can leave the room, work on your research, or just take a break. The liquid handling station sends you an email when the method is finished or needs manual input, for example, for a change of liquid ends. The simulation function of the Brandt software also saves time. It avoids endless trial and error. Test your method before the first execution and detect necessary improvements. The liquid handling station saves time for most pipetting tasks in the lab. For example, PCR and QPCR, precise pipetting of small volumes. ELISA, no more tiring serial delusions. Enzyme assays, quick and precise pipetting, mixing and setting the incubation times. Cherry picking, picking of the relevant wells, perfect for the liquid handling station. Time for new ideas? Find out more on brand.de.